I'm Edward Johnston. I'm the managing director of Port Royal Patties and a director and co-founder of um, Rudy's. We have a gourmet patty now. Um, a lot of people were asking for a patty that would be a complete meal, something that could be compared to a Cornish pasty or a pie. So our customers can now put it in a box with a coleslaw beside it or a salad beside it or maybe some mashed potatoes and sell that box as a meal. It's a complete meal in a patty, basically. Uh, we have chunks of goat in the curry goat one, we have chunks of chicken in the, in the jerk chicken. So it's a really, it's, a, it's one of the better quality patties I think I've ever seen. We've always wanted to be in the retail um, sector. In Jamaica, the patty companies are, in the US, a lot of the patty companies are. In London, it's very hard to put a project together that'll pay the rent that are in London. So it took us a while to get the formula right, but I think Rudy's is going to be spectacular. Um, we have 50 different rums from Jamaica. We have a, a 11 amazing cocktails based on the history and story of Jamaica. Um, we have a long bar where you can actually get a cocktail and sit and watch your jerk being made right in front of you. So our jerk's marinated in 20, for 24 hours. It's slowly um, jerked on the barbecue in front of you and then finished off when you order. It's uh, the best jerk I've tasted in London. Getting jerk right isn't easy. And you know, my, my, my partners, we spent two years at least going to different jerk stations in Jamaica, different outlets that we consider to be number one. And we watched and we, you know, we, we tasted, we asked questions, and we kind of came together with the formula for Rudy's. Um, Rude Boy is a very big movement back in, in the 70s and 60s, and we like that style. So we've incorporated that style into Rudy's. Uh, we like the ska, we like the old time, softer reggae, um, the edgy street reggae. So we have rum, we have vinyl playing ska and uh, reggae. We have the rude boy element in there, and we have the best jerk in London. So I think the three, those things are just going to unite to be a great atmosphere. The reaction has been phenomenal. Um, we're kind of saying, oh my god, we've done, <laughs> the reaction has been so great. There's a lot of pressure on us to, make, to execute, but you know, it's been a, we've been in GQ magazine, we've been in Time Out. Um, Facebook has really taken to us, or, or following is really big. So I think a lot of people are excited by the concept, and we're going to deliver. I think um, the young, trendy Londoner who's, who wants a good taste, taste experience, Londoners are very adventurous right now, and they're discerning. You want to have really good quality food and different types of food. So we, we said if we did really good quality Jamaican food, didn't water it down, made it very, the best ingredients, best quality we could do, charge a bit more for it, the average Londoner who's a foodie, who is a foodie, would, would really embrace it. So we went to Dalston. Dalston is hip, trendy, and I know the, 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 the citizens of Dalston are, are going to really embrace us. It's advisable to book if you can, um, but I think we'll have enough people, enough tables for the first few weeks. Um, we haven't really decided on the policy 100% whether it's going to be definitely pre-booking or... I think we're going to definitely leave a bit of walk-in room and people can book if, if, if they can. We have been thinking about Christmas and we have been flowering the neighborhood, so we, we will have a good Christmas present. Okay, thanks very much for your time.